so this is what happened this morning they dropped all the counts I pled guilty to one so sentencing's on the 28th of October for me And here I sit out front of the Ontario Court of Justice, Windsor, Ontario, for cannabis conviction, smoking cannabis. Yeah, so who knows what happens on the 28th. They're saying six to nine months house arrest. That's what I'm hearing. I just want resolution at all costs. They read out the charges from 2018, man. 2018, we're 2024. I've been on bail for six years. Six years, man. keep the peace. That's about all I have to do for the bail. So the saga continues. I'm getting sick and tired of it, really, I am. So I pled guilty to the, the proceeds of crime, they say. And as the lawyer read out the receipts and all the money that I gave back to the community... I pulled out of my own pocket at the end. So anybody that says that I made, I didn't make shit. Yeah, I had the odd steak dinner with a lobster tail. Just like anybody else. But in the end, it costed me, right? Uh, cost me a lot of money in the end. But was it worth it? Absolutely, 100%. The Liberal government came on and said, we're going to legalize marijuana. We're going to use all the proceeds from the marijuana to better society, give it to the homeless shelters and everything else. And we're in 2024, and not 10 cents has fucking gone that way from the federal government. So they were lying. It was bullshit. Okay, the whole time, the only guy that really gave away in big numbers was me. And I just want to thank everybody because there was 12 people that were uh, rained through the courts and they all walked. And Johnny a couple weeks ago walked. He saw oh, they dropped the charges on me. I said, I know because I pl I'm pleading guilty. So everybody got the walk in the end, but me. And I'm fine with that. Because you know what? What we were doing was something very special in this town. And if it was to still be going on, we would have we would have took a big chunk out of the homelessness, uh, the hunger in the city with the proceeds, right? But I've come to believe that feeding the wildlife is unlawful and the wildlife being that of uh, the transients and uh, people in need. And it made a lot of people jealous because they couldn't do it. And I was. And if I was to do it all over again, I'd do it all over again. Which is crazy because under house arrest, I'm still allowed to smoke my marijuana, grow my own marijuana. And it's the marijuana charge, right? So, I don't know. Makes no sense to me. I'm baffled. But I'm in great spirits, as you see. I'm dressed up decently. Even the lawyer complimented on my, uh, on my cologne. You know, I was just doing what was right, Carolyn. I was sick and tired of fuck seeing seeing my city go to shit. Okay, and it bettered the city. Believe me, there's a lot of people that are on my side, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I was bettering the city. Period. And I get it everywhere I go. People, oh, you're doing such great things, but at a cost. And this is a cost. I got over fifty k in, in lawyer fees out of my own pocket. That's sickening. 
when a man has to use his line of credit to pay his lawyer because I gave it all away, right? So, yeah, hijacked this Jacob over to the uh, YouTube station. Some guys over on Rumble are taking this too. But I've never asked for anybody for anything, and I never will. If you want to give it, give it. If you got it, if you don't, I get it. Times are rough, times are hard. Here's your fucking Christmas card. <clears throat> but it costed me out of my own pocket a lot of money, right? So... It is what it is. Stay tuned. The 28th of October. And you never know. There's The lawyer says uh, six to nine months. House arrest. You never know. It could be time served. Six years of fucking bail. But that's the way it rolls. I do got to smoke this joint. <laughs> Grab something to eat and go home. I got the day off. My uh, vacation ends tomorrow. Thanks, guys.